Lauren Booth, an English broadcaster, journalist, and pro-Palestinian activist, was born on 22nd of July 1976 in London. She's the half-sister of Sherry Blair, the wife of former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, who is the Middle East envoy right now. As a journalist, Lauren was a writer for The Mail on Sunday, The Sunday Times, and The Daily Mail and had different TV shows like reviewing the UK newspaper on television for Sky News, BBC One, BBC News 24 and Press TV. In 2005, she traveled to the West Bank and Gaza to meet Mahmoud Abbas and to have an interview with him. It was a trip in which she started on the path to Islam, breaking down the Islamophobia that had surrounded her mind and built up a love towards Muslims. In 2008, she traveled to the Gaza Strip with 46 other activists on a ship from Cyprus to deliver aids for the people in that blocked area. Before leaving there, she received a Palestinian VIP passport from Hamas Prime Minister Ismail Haniyeh. Traveling to Iran can be assumed as a turning point in her life where she had a holy visit to the Shia shrine of Fatima Masuma and she decided to embrace Islam. In mid-September 2010, she converted to Islam and declared herself a Muslim. Now she wears hijab, prays five times a day, visits local mosque whenever she gets the chance, and more importantly, she has stopped drinking, whereas earlier she could barely spend a day without drinking. I've got two daughters, aged seven and ten, and they were, uh, they had questions. They said, will you still be our mother? Yes. Uh, will you drink alcohol? No. And they went, hooray, and now my daughters pray with me. So you'd be surprised, the transition is very natural. Islam is a, is a, is a natural faith in your daily life. Even before her awakening in Iran, she was sympathetic towards Islam, and she had spent so much time and effort on Palestinian issue. And now she's still a member of the Free Gaza movement and working towards the freedom of Palestine. Of course, it is not known when her dream is going to become true. And I want to tell you all today that the crimes you think you know about Israel are but a drop in the ocean, a speck of sand on the beach of the universe. Liberate Al-Quds! March to Al-Quds! Liberate Gaza! Fight for Gaza! We will not let you go down alone, Gaza!